So one example of composer pop in my music is that I've constructed riffs trying to use all 12 tones. Some of you probably know that the octave, in Western music at least, is divided into 12 equal notes. And there's even a style of avant-garde 20th century music called 12-tone or dodecaphonic music, where the objective is to make all 12 tones completely equal, not to have a central tonic or home note. Now, that is not at all what I'm trying to do when I do this. Rather, I'm taking a little bit of inspiration from that and thinking, wouldn't it be interesting to try to make a riff that uses all 12 notes? But I am not treating all the tones equally. The song is still in a key. Other songwriters have used this technique. I know of at least one, and that's Paul Simon. When he constructed the bridge for Still Crazy After All These Years, he looked at any of the notes that he hadn't yet used and used those to make the bridge. So here's one example of that in my music. It's from an instrumental, mostly instrumental, called I Heard My Name Again. Here's the riff. <laughs> And here's what it looks like on my little Casio keyboard. Another way that this song is influenced by the classical music tradition is the riff isn't repeated, at least not all the time. Sometimes little bits of it are taken and moved around, developed. You know, it goes a little lower, a little higher, leads to different places, but you can tell it's still coming from the same main riff idea. Here's an example. Another way that the song draws on the classical tradition is to try to employ some harmonies that are not normally used in pop songs. In particular, it is the use of this chord called an augmented chord. Sure, you'll find it now and then in a pop song, but not often. And yet all the other main chords are very normal, so the chord progression on the piano kind of looks like this. So then at the end, it is time to kick the groove in, because after all, this is composer pop, even if it is a bit esoteric, and admittedly, the song will probably not have a mass appeal. But here's the groove. Part two, I'll show you another song that I wrote that uses all 12 tones in the riff. I'll bet you can't wait. <laughs> 